Well, the Doors showed some fight in the late innings, but they were not able to come up with the victory, a 5-2 to two loss in their final trip of the summer to McKeon Park in Hyannis. Closing the door, Aiden Blank, MJ Newsom, and Braden Shank. MJ, the Commodore pitching was pretty good, but the biggest minus of the night was that offense, and it felt like the last time they were here where they just left too many runners on base. They had the runners on, they just couldn't bring them home. Aiden, that was the real problem in the first half of the summer for Falmouth, was hitting with runners in scoring position. It has since gotten better, but at times we have had kind of a fallback like times tonight. Had runners on scoring position multiple times. There was an inning where we had bases loaded. Zion Rose struck out to end the inning. So chances like that are the ones you can't find, you know, to get base runners on, get runs in. You know you had 10 hits, so did Hyannis. You only scored two runs. Braden, the hitting was the minus with the runners in scoring position, but the pitching was the plus outside of Edward Hart, who had an uncharacteristic outing. Everybody was very good, and Matt Hewer threw three innings for the first time this summer. Yeah, that's right. Matt Hewer looked really good for the second time against this high end team. He exited the game not allowing a run, but then you go to the bullpen, and it's a Commodore bullpen that has looked really good the last seven games. They kind of collapsed a little bit today. It was a 0 0 game going into the bottom half of the fifth, and as I mentioned, MJ, the floodgates just kind of opened for this high end team. They put up a four spot in the bottom of the fifth, a one spot in the bottom of the sixth, and all of a sudden it's a 5 1 game. Back half, no scoring. So just kind of that little bit of a crumble of those two innings, and Hyannis was able to capitalize. And MJ, this sets up a situation where now you're really needing Bourne to lose tomorrow. You could potentially come in down seven points on Thursday to that head to head matchup, but you could also come in five points down. Absolutely. And if Bourne wins tomorrow, then they beat you on Thursday, they clinch. So you really have to hope that Wareham gets the big win tomorrow and go in and take care of business at Doran Park. That's been the MO. Basically, the rest of the way, you got to win the games you have in front of you because if you don't win, you don't get any points. All right. Well, off day tomorrow. Talk to you on Thursday. Potentially the season on the line as the Commodores face the Braves. This has been Closing the Door.